There are different types of thermometer. Some of them are liquid thermometer, digital thermometer, and radiation thermometer. Today, I want to focus on liquid thermometer. Exactly what is it? Liquid thermometer means a thermometer in which liquid is used as thermometric substance is called liquid thermometer. And this thermometric substance liquid may be mercury or it may be alcohol. Here I am showing two thermometers, both of them are liquid thermometer and this is actually mercury thermometer but second one is alcohol thermometer and in mercury thermometer at one end it is filled with mercury and in alcohol thermometer it is red colored to see the alcohol distinctly. Now I am showing another thermometer also, look at this thermometer. This is smaller than the previous two. It means this is different. And actually this is clinical thermometer and it is, its range is also very less, 35 to 42 degrees Celsius only. And this is filled with mercury. And comparatively it is smaller than these two thermometers. And the small thermometer is clinical, but bigger one is laboratory thermometer. Or we can say general thermometer. Looking at all these liquid thermometer, now I want to classify liquid thermometer into different types. Look at this. In terms of use, in what purpose these liquid thermometer are used? Accordingly, it is classified into general thermometer or which is also called laboratory thermometer and clinical thermometer which is also known as doctor's thermometer. In terms of use, it is classified into two types. In the same way, in terms of thermometric substance, which liquid is used inside this liquid thermometer accordingly, in terms of thermometric substance, it is classified again into two types. They are mercury thermometer. If a thermometer uses mercury to find the temperature, then it is called mercury thermometer. And alcohol thermometer, if alcohol is used inside thermometer to find the temperature, then this is called alcohol thermometer. Now let's talk about the principle of thermometer, liquid thermometer. We can say that liquid thermometer is based on the principle that liquid expands on heating. This is the major principle of this liquid thermometer. Now construction. How liquid thermometer is constructed, it can be understood with the help of a diagram. Look at this diagram represents the construction, basic construction of liquid thermometer. It has got two parts. One is called glass bulb and a long stem is connected to it. And glass bulb is filled with mercury. It has thin wall and a thin tube starts from the glass bulb and goes up to the another end of thermometer and this is called capillary and this capillary is surrounded by thick glass wall. This is the basic construction of liquid thermometer. If you have to write about the construction of liquid thermometer, you can write this way. Thermometer consists of a thin wall glass bulb which is connected to a long stem. Glass bulb is filled with mercury or alcohol and a thin and long tube called capillary starts from bulb and goes up to the another end of a stem of thermometer. Capillary is surrounded by thick glass wall. The surface of stem is calibrated with the value of temperature. Look at these are the value of temperature and it is calibrated in degree Celsius. Okay, there are some important questions related to construction of thermometer. I want to mention all these and I want to answer these questions also. Look at this first question. Why the wall of glass bulb of thermometer is made thinner? This wall of glass bulb is made thinner to allow the heat energy to enter into the glass bulb and to reach up to this mercury easily. And it can be answered this way, glass bulb is made up of thin glass wall which allows heat energy to reach easily up to the mercury and then mercury expands and then only mercury expands easily to show temperature. Now another important question, why capillary tube of thermometer is very thin? This capillary tube is made intentionally thin. The reason is very simple, the capillary is made very thin due to which the expanded mercury can reach up to the required value of temperature. Otherwise, the expansion is not enough to show the value of temperature. Because 
this mercury is taken into the glass ball and its amount is very less and if capillary is made very small i mean to say very thin then the mercury expanded mercury can reach up to high temperature to show high temperature of the substances otherwise if it is white then it won't go up to 80 90 and 100 degrees celsius and measurement of temperature wouldn't be possible okay now next question why glass wall of stem of thermometer is made thicker this glass wall of the stem is made thicker the reason is very simple we use this thermometer holding at the stem we have to take it to the substance and glass wall should be in contact with that substance if glass wall of thermometer is made very thin then it may break and that's why to prevent the breaking and to prevent the mechanical damage the glass wall of stem is made thicker so we can write this way the glass wall of stem is made thicker to protect the thermometer against the mechanical damage during handling now one last question about the use i mean to say working how it works working of liquid thermometer when glass bulb of thermometer comes in contact of a substance i mean to say we have to make contact of this glass bulb with the substance of which the temperature is being measured that's why when glass bulb of thermometer comes in contact of a substance mercury contained in the bulb absorbs heat energy from that substance then mercury expands and rises in capillary and lastly becomes stationary at certain value of temperature the value at which mercury becomes stationary is the temperature of that substance okay today i told you about liquid thermometer on which principle it works and how it is constructed and how it works and some important question related to its construction okay now i want to stop class we'll meet in another class thank you